Hey everyone, it is Neha with College Shortcuts. I hope you're having an absolutely amazing day. I wanted to talk to you today specifically about the common application. Now, what most of you do not realize is that the common application opens today. So I'm really excited to see you guys on. I'm seeing a lot of likes and people liking the video, which is really exciting. Um, this is going to be a live Q&A session. Um, I really would love it if you go ahead and type your questions in, and I will definitely be getting to it. So today what I want to talk about is the Common App, because it is officially August 1st. It means applications are actually open. Uh, we have a lot of students that are actually submitting today with their essays and their resume already done already filled out, ready to go, which is really, really exciting. Um, they put in so much work this summer. And if you are interested in getting help with the Common App, the application, and getting it done in less than three weeks, please reach out to us at 713-401-2867. Now, today I want to talk to you about the Common App because guess what? They just did a little refresh and they were shut down for the whole last week, meaning no one in the world could log in. Not None of the three... 0.3 million students that are trying to apply to college this year. Now, what you may not realize is that roughly one in almost every 10 students gets rejected because they didn't fill this one application outright. So I thought it'd be a little fun for us together to create an account and show you how to walk through the steps. Now, this is being done live, so you're going to enjoy a little bit of confusion um, and a little bit of fun, just like you would in the process. And the reason I do this is because I want you to really be able to see what it is like to go through this process and why waiting to the last minute is one of the worst things you can do in the common application process. The truth of the matter is, is if you have a senior, you can literally start filling out this stuff. The second thing I'd say is, and by the way, I love the likes. Just want to do a quick shout out. Hi, Kim. Hey, Amelia. Nice to see you. Hey, Rajpal. Nice to see you as well. Woohoo! Rajpal, you rock. All right. Hey, Christina. Hey, Archana. Great to see you too. So what I would love to do is everyone watching, please like the video. It means a lot. If you see any notifications where it says get notifications, click on that as well because you are going to start seeing updates from me and I want to make sure you don't miss anything. I'm going to give you some incredible free content all the time with my live videos. Hi, Sue. Nice to see you. Okay. Hi, Crystal. Hey, Heather. Good to see you guys. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is I want to go ahead and share my screen. And that way you guys can take a look. Now I'm going to go ahead and let's see if I can do this. This is only new for me. I'm not always the most awesome person when it comes to tech. Okay. Share. Let's see. Share screen. Let's see if this is working. Source, share screen. Once you zoom, position the screen using this. Okay, let's just see what happens. Okay, hopefully you guys can see my screen. Can you see my screen? I think you can, right? I think it's showing you my screen. Type in yes if you're seeing my screen right now with the common app open behind my face or next to my face. Just type in yes, show, um, yes, show Google Chrome. I think it's showing to you guys. So let's go ahead and take a look. I'm just gonna go ahead and roll with it. Hopefully you can see my screen. If you can, just type in yes into the chat box. Ooh, I think I got a message back. Yes, awesome. Thank you, Sundia, you're amazing. All right, guys, so the Common App, the place that, like, most people absolutely hate because, let's face it, everyone hates the Common App. Awesome. Thank you, Marla, for the confirmation. Cool. Now, today I want to talk about the Common App because, you know, for every parent that I know, unless you're a teenager, you have never seen the Common App because when you applied, you literally took a sheet of paper, can't find one on my desk right here. You took a sheet of paper and you hand wrote your applications and you went, you went to the post office and mailed them in. Now, now what students can do is they can go to the commonapp.org and literally sign in. Now I am showing you from the beginning. I created my registration, my login, and we're going to put in some fun names. We're going to go with Larry the Lamb, courtesy of one of my good friends. Larry the Lamb. I think it's the lamb what they have. Um, I'm going to make up a fun address. Let's see. Enter address. One, two, three, four. 
I love college. City, we'll go with Houston because it's my home base. Texas. And then zip code 77401. Do it for my old high school. We think it may be incorrect. Okay, we'll go with 1234 College Ave. Sure. So you got to have the right address just so you know because that's where they'll mail you things if you get in or not. Phone number will do 713-444-1234. Or let's just do 713-401-2867, our phone number. All right, guys, I'm in Florida right now, and right now we're getting hit by Tropical Storm, or whatever it is, Emily. So i got to hear a yes from you if my Internet is still connected, um, working with a client this week. Okay, date of birth, we're going to go with May 15th. You guys may not know that, but that's my birthday. I'm going to go with 1900. I know I look really young. I'm applying as a first-year student. Now, this is where it's different if you have a transfer student or a first-year student. For all my parents that have kids that are transferring, as you can see, it's just one button difference, which is transfer. All the applications still require the same amount of work, just so you know. Please tell us more about your plans. When do you plan to start? I got a message back. Let's see. Okay, cool. You guys are good. Okay, good. Hopefully it's all good. We'll be asking you guys for confirmation. If you can hit the like button or the love button, that way I know. If I get disconnected, I'm sorry, guys, but, you know, it's pretty bad out there. Okay, please tell us more about your plans. When do you plan to start college? We'll say 2017 to 2018. Now we're going to create, oh, look, we missed something. Plus one. The colleges that I'm considering for applications may communicate with me by mail, email, phone, or text message. So, guys, this is an option. I'm going to turn it off because, honestly, Larry the Lamb doesn't want this. The common application may communicate with me, blah, blah, blah. I don't personally want it, but you can take it. Oh, here we go. So, see how confusing it is? Like, couldn't they just made this vertically? Hmm. By checking this box I represent, I'm definitely over than 13, unfortunately, yes. The common app website uses some files known as cookies. Sure, I love chocolate chip cookies. Okay, then we'll hit create. Did you love the scrolling button? Love the scrolling button. Internal service error. Uh-oh. Let's try this again. Am I with you guys? Are you guys still hearing me, or did I just totally lose Wi-Fi and I don't realize it? Type in yes if you can still see me and things are good to go. You already have a common app account. Oh, do I? Larry the Lamb shouldn't have a common app account. Let's try another number. 713-44444. Let's see if that works. Hmm. Or it could be the fact that I use my email address and I already have an old email address, guys. So as you can see, even just logging in can be a little frustrating, as we know. Um, so it's really important to get this done on time and correct. I'm going to redo this one more time and try another email address. Now, remember, there's millions of people that are literally applying to college. So that's why this can be super challenging. Let's see if this just allows me to sign in with this account. And for everyone that's logging in, I oh, here we go, first year. Hey, Larry. Hey. Okay, so it looks like you created my account. Now, for everyone that's logging in, hi, my name is Neha Gupta. I'm founder of College Shortcuts. Just want to let you know, I'm going through the Common App today here to kind of show you how it works because Common App has now opened and all the students that we are working with are already applying today, August 1st, to finish off their applications prior to starting the school year. So if you are wanting help with your applications, please call us at 713-401-2867 to get this off your list of things before senior year starts. Now, I'm going to go through the Common App, and remember, there are going to be some fun, you know, hiccups, but I want it to be real with you. That's why I'm doing this live. I could have easily done this as a highly edited video, but I think it's a little more fun for you to see how frustrating this can be. Okay, so you're going to log in to the Common App. This is my login. Right now, my name is Larry the Lamb, okay? And it just says some simple things like, hi, you know, welcome to the Common App. Let's get started. Add colleges, blah, 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 okay? What you want to do is you want to go to My Colleges. And then you're going to click on College Search. So we're going to add in some fun colleges. Now, you have to do searches for things. So, for example, let's see if um, let's see if I can just search the college without all this. So as you can see, and I knew this already, Georgetown is not on Common App, for example. 
She's going to Georgetown. Do not click the wrong application for the wrong school. All right, let's try another one. Let's try SMU. And it's searching slowly, by the way, because there's so many people. I'm looking for SMU in Dallas, Texas. So now we just add it to our list. And we're going to keep searching, okay? I'm just going to build a few lists here, okay? Let's go Harvard in Massachusetts. You always want to check college name and location. Cool. Let's keep searching. So this is where you're going to add your list. So University of Texas, not on Common App, just so you know. So you have to make sure outside of this, you are keeping track of your list of colleges. It's a major reason why I work with students because they'll fill out the Common App and then they're like, oh, I'm done applying. I'm like, no, you're not. You missed like three colleges. So it's all about using our dashboard. Now, we have all of this in our College Shortcuts course. Um, so you can literally use all of our tools we work with students on. It's a document that really changes the game to make sure you have everything in the right place. Okay, so we're going to try another search. Um, how about this? Let's get some voting in here. Any college you guys want me to add on for Larry the Lamb, type it into the chat box right here, guys. Super curious what it's going to be. I know you guys are probably wondering what my background is, but you'll be getting that in the email uh, later on. Okay, so all right, I'm going to type in another one. I'm waiting for you because this is a live video. Uh, let's take a look here and see. Hmm, what's another college we could do? Tufts. Search. Tufts University. Add. Search again. I think we just got a little message. Let's see. Yersinus College from Irene. University of Michigan from Sundia. Okay. Uh, Yersinus. Search. Hmm, cool. Adding in. Search again. Michigan. I'll just search the state and see if it shows up. University of Michigan, Ann Arbor, I'm assuming, Sundia. Let's go for it. All right. My colleges. Awesome. Aracelis. Hi, Aracelis. Nice to see you. Oh, my gosh. Marquette. Let's go ahead and add in. So as you can see, this is populating, but I'm going to still keep searching. So then we're going to go back to dashboard. So it's showing up our colleges. They've obviously made this one better. Um, let's see. So you've added it. So you're like, oh, where do we go? I want to add more. College search is where you go. Okay. Uh, Marquette University in Milwaukee. And it says like type, co-ed, et cetera. It's really sweet, right? Like Because most colleges are co-ed. I don't know why that's even relevant, guys. Uh, let's see if we got another one. Rice. Hey, Raj Paul. Nice to see you on. Yes, everyone's like, Rice, Neha, you went there. Of course. Let's go ahead and reapply. All right. That's great. Larry the Lamb definitely wants to go to Rice. University of Wisconsin-Madison. Yes, we do get a lot of that. Okay, University of Wisconsin. All right, guys, this is a good amount. Thank you very much. All right, for everyone that's logging in, I know we've got a lot of viewers on. If you are liking this video, everyone that's on right now, makes a huge difference to me if you like the video or hurt it. Most people that watch me know that really makes my day. And just so you know, I haven't had the easiest day today. And for most parents and students, like, not every day is perfect, especially when you're filling out the common application, right? Today's actually been a little bit rougher than I'd like. Also, there's a storm going on, so hopefully I'll make it out alive in Florida here. But I wanted to do this video because it is August 1st and even though I don't look perfect today I was like oh my god I've got to make sure all my parents know exactly how to do it and just as a reminder I got a little cute tattoo that says blissful to keep me happy right now today it's been a very intense day for me uh don't worry it's temporary not that it matters if it's not but for me I like temporary ones uh by Daniel Laporte my favorite oh thanks guys hearts matter a lot for everyone logging in my name is Neha Gupta, founder of College Shortcuts. Today is August 1st. It's a really big day in the college admissions world. It's like really exciting for us because all of our students are able to apply to colleges that have worked us, with us in June and July and last semester that were juniors and now they're seniors and all of them are applying today. So if you aren't getting your help, please call the number below at 713-401-2867. Now I've just completed creating a login for Larry the Lamb. I've added some colleges because you know, Larry's really got quite a list of schools, okay? Now, what I will tell you is, um, while the Common App is absolutely amazing, and yes, it is organized in a certain way, and yes, there's a way to do the dashboard, 
All it is stating to you in this dashboard that they've created is what the writing requirements are, the deadlines, application, writing supplement. It's not organizing in a way to let you know if it's a reach school, a target school, a safety school, and it's why we highly recommend some of our products as a supplement to the Common App because we know we want to make sure this is perfect for your child and easily done. The Common App is not the only place that you should be leaving all of your information because you want to have a separate document outside of it. Now, um, let's go ahead and take a look and see. This little red dot says writing required. This says writing optional. This one says writing additional details. Okay, and here it also says supplements. Okay, now let's go through it a little bit. So I want you to see how this is done. Um, now, this is kind of interesting. Let's just go through these for a second. They've got application lingo. Let's see if this even opens. Oh, here we go. No, this is not helpful, guys, but I don't want to give you a thumbs down because I think it's mean, and I hate it when people do it to me. Okay, anyways, you can take a look here. It'll say some information. Now, this is not very interesting to me. All you want to know, though, is that an applicant may not add more than 20 schools. If you're applying to more than 20 schools, I wish your child the best of luck. Now, this is my colleges, and this is the Common App itself. Wow, occasional errors. Okay, let's just go back. So guys, this can really frustrate a student. You've got to make sure they have like little snacks around. Like make sure you can have snacks. Make sure they have water around. You know, I'd set a timer, you know, before they blow up a little bit. So it's really good to have it. Now, let's go with Harvard for a second. So what it says here when you go to my colleges, it populates the list of which you chose, right? And just for everyone logging in, this list is arbitrary, meaning it's not related to anything. I just wanted to literally the land to have a good mix of schools for right now. I don't have a favorite of any school, I mean, other than Rice University because I went there, but just so you know. Now, they've added some great stuff here. In this contact information, they have the phone number, meaning if you want to call, set up interviews, set up visits, talk to them. This is a place to call. Woohoo! Don't call any other number. This is their address if you want to send them some love mail, because everyone loves love mail, like little cute things or whatever it is. Love mail is awesome, okay? Then you can visit the college website right here. You can get a virtual tour. You can have the navigator, everything. Here it shows the application deadlines. First year, restrictive early action is November 1st. Hi, everybody. Guess what? It's August 1st. August to September, September to October, October to November. So in less than 12 weeks, your kid could be applying early to Harvard. When you multiply that by actual school days, we're talking about less than 65 to 70 days from now is the deadline. And let me tell you, waiting till deadline, never impressive. All right, regular decision for losers, January 1st. I never recommend it. Application information, here are the fees. And by the way, wowza. Did they up their fees for these types of things? 75. Back in the day, just you know, it used to be 25 or 50. So make sure you budget out for application fees. Standard test, standardized test policy. This is for the standardized test information. Recommendation, school report, counselor. Uh, so school report, meaning the school. Counselor recommendation, meaning your college counselor at school, which you want to get on good terms with. And make sure they have certain things to make your recommendation stand out. We help with a lot of that. So if you're wanting help, call us on that. Mid-year report, meaning 12th grade December, those grades are getting sent. No senioritis in the house, people. No. Final report, teacher evaluations, other evaluation, too optional. Well, look at that. You could be submitting extra letters of recommendation, and we absolutely help with that, too. Um, save school forms after matriculation, yes, meaning they do save your information. It doesn't just get, like, thrown into a shredder or some digital, like, dump yard somewhere. They keep your stuff. They get this digital and easy. Writing requirements. Required common app personal essay, some specific ones for college, and supplement. And there could be more depending on your application type. Let's go ahead and take a look at this for a second. Now, these prompts, they're showing me a beautiful little error page. Guys, come on, fix it if you're going to launch it August 1st. Oh, man, so frustrating. Um, we'll go a different route. Super easy. So in the applications, I'll get to it. Preferred start term, fall 2018. We'll go with restrictive early action. 
about deadlines, you're going to want to look and Google about them. There's a difference between early decision, restrictive early action, early action, and regular decision. you got to look at all of those and decide accordingly. Um, preferred residence, of course, on campus if possible. Let's do it. Do you pursue need-based financial aid? Uh, let's just go ahead and say no for now. Do you intend to submit supplementary materials? Yes. Why not? Continue. Then it goes to the next section, academics. So as you can see, it populates here and here. Oh, I think we got a question. Carlene says, hi. Hi, Carlene. Awesome. Don't you love how this little banner just shrinks? Good. Let's just move this thing over here. Yeah, that way you can see it. Cool. All right, guys. Susan. Hi, Karen. Hi, Nishta. Hey, Carlene. Hey, bro. I just want to say hi to everyone that is logging in. My name is Neha Gupta, founder of College Shortcuts and Elite Private Tutors. If your child is needing any help with tutoring, test prep, academics, SAT, ACT, IC prep, ERB, PSAT, college consulting, call me at 713-401-2867. I've got an account manager, by the way, on the line ready to go. Now, let's get to it. We're going to finish up this because the Common App to me is super important. Hi, Carlene. Nice to see you. Remember, everyone that's logging in right now watching this video, like it. makes a huge difference. Please share it with your friends because, my God, no one is teaching you how to do the Common App, especially not today when it opens. But for us, it's really exciting, like really, really exciting. Okay, awesome. All right, academics, what interests you? Let's just see what happens when we click engineering because sometimes extra essays can be added into the application based on your major. Um, yeah, so as you can see, undecided, etc. We highly recommend picking something based on your kid's interests. We work with students on that to find their unique angle that's best for them. On a scale of one, absolutely certain, and five, likely to change. Guys, this is really important to notice scales. And I'll tell you, if you love what I do, go to Facebook and hit five-star review. I've had so many parents hit one-star review thinking number one, awesome. It's actually the worst rating. So, got to pay attention to these scales, and I'd love it if you did that. On a scale of one of absolute certain, how definite do you consider your application's plans? I'm going to say five. On a scale, how definite do you consider your vocational plans to be? Five. I'm sure I want to do that. On a scale of one to five, how definite are your interests? I'm pretty freaking interested. Are you applying to this? No. Are you doing music? No, but I do have friends that have done that. Have you earned any certifications of completion? No. Here's a question. This is an extra essay. Are you noticing this falls under questions and not essays? Super confusing. So, your intellectual life may extend beyond the academic requirements. Please use the space to list additional intellectual activities. What else are you a nerd about? Not to mention, these could be included as supervised or self-directed projects. This is why I tell people, if you really want to get into a top school, you've got to get consulting with us on really building out these extra things that are not done. Online courses, blah, blah, blah. Here we go. List. Follow the instructions. One, Harvard Public Speaking Camp, uh, summer 2017. Two, created a Kickstarter program, received over $200,000 in backing, created a project to support kids in Kenya and India with vitamin angels and world teacher aid. Cool. Three. Uh, online course, MIT discovery of new Diseases. No, we're an engineer. Let's go ahead and focus with that. MIT Discovery of New Engineering Technologies Course. Four, master class. Love guitar learning. Whatever it is. So as you can see, there's all sorts of things you can add into here. Spelling needs to be done right. Following instructions are important. And maximum amount of words. Do not overdo it. Any questions here? Crystal thinks I read the interest scale incorrectly. Let me read it one more time. Sorry, guys. <laughs> As you know, live. On a scale of one absolute certain, five likely to change. Oh, Crystal caught me. Yes, one. See that? Do you see that? 
This is totally opposite of Yelp and Facebook. Your kid's going to be super confused. <laughs> Sorry. All right. This is done. Hit continue. That little round thing means it's saving. All right. Now, activities. What activities at Harvard interest you? Hmm. Debate. Can I choose more? No. That's odd. So your resume is going to be really good. Let's do badminton. Yeah, super coordinated as a nerd. Sorry, guys. For a sport. Oh, because I clicked a sport. Forget it. Let's just do arts. Uh, yeah, whatever. Okay, add another. Oh, we can add more. Badminton. Let's do intercollegiate. Then let's do baseball and basketball. Club. So as you can keep adding these, all right? Please briefly explain. Elaborate on one of your extra cooker activities. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, 50 word minimum. Continue. But there's a little note saying, by the way, have you previously applied to Harvard? No. No, because if you said it, I'm doing this for Larry the Lamb, just heads up. If yes, if yes, if yes, if yes. I said no, so this is all irrelevant. How did you hear about Harvard? I don't know. I found out when I was born. Um, can we write that? No, probably not. Let's just say family member, because my mom said it. Okay. Please list the cities and states in which you've lived. Cool. Let's go ahead. Barcelona, Thailand, New York, San Francisco. Ugh, this goes so hard. Florida, Texas, heaven. Okay, continue. Students applying from outside the U.S. and Canada. If interviews are available in your area, have you done it? So, guys, are you noticing? There's all sorts of little things that most people don't think about when they're applying. Like, these are hints. They give you your phone number. They ask you about portfolios. They ask you about extra letters of recommendation. They're asking you about, you know, interviews. These are all little pieces of the application, and most people don't realize. For everyone that's logging in, this is Neha Gupta. I am founder of College Shortcuts. Right now, I'm walking through how Larry the Lamb is applying to college on the Common App because... The Common App is now finally open. And most students can apply literally within the next 65 to 70 days. Actually, they can totally apply today if they wanted, but the deadline's all the way to the end, which I never recommend waiting. Um, we're not outside the U.S., so I'm going to hit continue. And it should work, and they should know that. We need to know your current or most recent school. Please go ahead and do that. Okay, great, whatever. Now let's go ahead and just head over to the writing supplement, because this is super important. Now, let's see what preview shows. So preview is going to show you, like, what your essay looks like. Now, I want to go back and just check. Did everything save? It did. So you can see that it saved, right? You can edit, go back, continue, right? So let's go to the questions of writing. Now, just so you know, Common App had these already out February of this year. So when most parents were like, oh, I'll wait till the end, I'm like, go ahead. Not. A lot of students have already written this essay. Juniors can actually write this essay now and not wait till senior year. Not a lot of changes, just so you know. Some does, some doesn't. But they can start thinking about it. They can start planning ahead because this is the essay that goes to every single college. Okay, you may wish to include an additional essay if you feel that the college application does not convey important information about yourself. You may write about this. Unusual circumstances, travel, what do you want future intellectual property, how do you hope to use, elicit, okay, heads up, this entire thing right here is basically them saying, if you care to be extraordinary, please submit a supplemental essay. And just so you know, they're literally giving you the right to write about absolutely anything and everything. There's so many options here. Please note, if you do not intend to provide a response, you do not need to. If you encounter any problems, please upload a document that just says not applicable. The reason they see this is because it's super complicating common app. Sometimes they don't do it. I'm all about doing extraordinary applications. So you want to do it. Now, this is insane. They've now included Google Drive as an option. I'm going to not open my Google Drive. It's huge. But you can upload a Google Drive or you can upload a document. My recommendation is always upload a document. I don't trust Google Drive because it also depends on if you upload it and you give certain access to certain links, blah, blah, blah. Continue. Just go ahead and see here. Um, so here we go. Writing supplements, blah, blah, blah. Portfolio instructions. 
Look at all of this. You can actually submit a portfolio. I think I've got a question popping through. Let's see. What about SAT scores? Carlene's asking. Great question. SAT, by the way, everyone, August, end of August, SAT, coming up. Um, that would be done, well, just for everyone on the line before I answer Carlene's questions. Test prep should be done junior year, not senior year. Now, if you are, if you have a rising senior or current senior now, and they are not done with test prep, I would recommend that you delay the application until you at least get some test scores in. And then from there, go from there because you want to make sure they get it. Um, that's included where it said standardized scores. You'll make sure you get those submitted from College Board. Okay, as you can see here, there's some steps here about like signing up to show your portfolio, et cetera. You can also mail one in. Now, one thing that's missing here, just so you know, is it's just showing the writing supplement. It is not showing the main Common App essay application. Now, I don't know why Common App can't get this open, but I can Google it for you just so you have it. Common App prompts 2017. Let me just pull this for you. Here we go. Now, I don't know why it's not showing. That's fine. It doesn't mean you still can't submit stuff and have it all together here. Um, new prompts. So this is the essay that's going to be coming in specifically for this year. All right, take a look at this. Now, here you go. Word limit is 650, and here are the prompts. Now, just so you know, we work with students on getting this essay and many of their other essays done in less than three weeks. Yes, you heard me right. Less than three weeks, we can get this done with your child. And not just okay essays, phenomenal essays, essays that will make them stand out, that will get them thousands of dollars in scholarships and more. It's not just about submitting your application. It's about really creating an extraordinary application. So these are some of the prompts here. They've added, as you can see, more prompts to students to answer. And really understanding the right prompt is so important in the application process. But not even just the right prompt. Also, it's all about like understanding which topics are appropriate to write about that are going to be eye-opening versus prompts to completely avoid. And it's the number one thing that most students trip up on. So I wanted to just kind of walk you through here to see like what the Common App looks like. It's revised and it's new how to submit things, how to create your list, etc. For everyone that's logging in right now, we've got tons of viewers right now on the page here. My name is Neha Gupta. I am founder of College Shortcuts. I am here to teach you all about how the common application works so that you can really make sure to start this process. And as you can see, in less than 33 minutes, I have added in a college list and I filled out 90% of the application right here. Now what's missing here and what they had here specifically was, uh, and let me pull this up, activities here. Now, one thing that's here as well, um, add another or et cetera. You can also be including a beautifully designed resume into this. And if they don't take it, you can also submit it as well uh, in other formats. We highly recommend it as well. Now, I'm going to go ahead and open up another call. It's one I'm very familiar with. Phone number, address. Um, here are all the deadlines information you should know. Okay. Um, again, application fees, SAT without essay and two subject tests required or ACT without essay. So as you can see, you want to make sure you follow the standardized test policy according to each one. Um, they'll give you some additional information, etc. cetera. Um, here are some writing supplements as well. And see, it'll populate straight over to that. Please describe this. What are you studying? Why are you applying to Rice? And then the box, upload later or upload now. I always recommend just upload everything together. It makes it easier for them. By typing your name, it means you did it, and you did it yourself. So see all these extra essays on top of the main essay involved? It's a lot. Let's take a look here for SMU. There's, let's, there should be more here. I know there is. Here we go. Writing is here. Notice how it wasn't, this is what's frustrating about the Common App. If you look at Rice University, they separate, 
separate it. Well, <laughs> application versus writing supplement, right? Did you notice in SMU, it's just application, and under questions is where you're going to see writing. I know, I'm a total common app ninja. People are like, how do you know all this? Guys, we do this for like thousands of kids to make sure everything's perfect. But you have to know, you've got to search around. Here we go. Why did you apply to SMU? What are you going to do to benefit the university, et cetera? Word limit here, et cetera, here. So as you can see, all these colleges, so Harvard has a main one plus an optional. Rice had three optional plus a box plus the main one as well. SMU has two extra. Notice that's three universities, and I'm, all, I'm already up eight essays. You've seen that? Eight. That's just three colleges. On average, people are applying to 10. All right, I want to open it up to Q&A right now. If you've got any questions right now. And I want you guys to know, we are already wrapping up our summer clients. They are super excited, done with their essays, copying and pasting them in, already are submitting today. It's very exciting news for us. We're very excited for all the students that worked with us in the summer. And I want you to know, so many students wait till the last minute and they don't understand. I mean, if you think about it, with on average, three schools having eight separate essays, if you're applying to 10 that's roughly 20 to 23 essays you're looking at on average to get your kid to be done with, plus their honors classes or AP classes or six different classes, regular, whatever it is, plus a sport or an activity, plus extracurricular activities, plus a social life, plus letters of recommendation, plus test prep, and everything else. This is a hard semester. And if you aren't getting the help you need, I just want you to know we have five slots left for consulting for this year. Five. Parents have already booked us out. If you aren't even getting a hold at my phone number, it's 713-401-2867. Call us, guys. Leave us a voicemail. We check every single one, and my account manager will call you back. Um, RSLs is asking a wonderful question. Can you start the application, save it, and do it later? Absolutely. You totally can. You don't just have to do it, and there's like a three-hour time limit, and then they're like, if you don't submit, it's a race. Because, oh my God, do you know how stressful that would be for a senior? That would be horrible. It would be absolutely horrible. Not a lot of bliss going on, if that's the case. All right, we're going to take a look here. Your SNES College questions. So what's required? School report, all these things are required. you got to get that stuff in. Now look here. No writing supplements are needed. Here it says the required main app essay. So, for example, your kid could apply to a lot of colleges, just so you know, with just that one main common app. Totally, totally fair. But if you're going to be looking at a top 25 school, you better believe there's supplemental essays. Now, for this one, it doesn't mean that you couldn't, let's just take a look at it and see if there's any extra ones here. Nothing. This is a very basic application, which means they're reviewing test scores, GPA, resume, and one essay. That's it. Now, you could totally submit a beautifully, divine, def, ugh, beautifully designed resume as well. And you can still take some of your supplemental essays. So let's say you're applying to Harvard and you write about, let's take a look at one of them. Let's say you write about, where is it? Um, an unusual circumstance in your life that you dealt with that wasn't covered in the main topic. You could technically submit that to yours in this college as well because you've taken the time to work so hard on that essay. Why not include it as well? So this is where a consultant can really help your kid to understand like what to submit, what not to submit, how to submit effectively, what is the best angle, what are the best essay prompts, what are the best topics, what are the worst topics to write because, oh my gosh, some of the things I see, etc. It's so important to know that. Uh, here we go. Anna saying, hi. Hi, Anna. Nice to see you. Beautiful photo. Um, how do you self-report test scores, i.e. APs, etc.? Beautiful question. So, as you can see, I'm going to pull this up for you guys to see here for everyone. School report required. Do you see that right there under recommendations? I know my screen may be a little tiny, but when you have yours, you'll see it. School report will show them the, the student's transcript. So, when you talk about self-reporting, that's really not necessary. They're going to have the transcript right there and look at the transcript and be like, okay, these are the fives they've gotten, et cetera, in those grades. Also, they're also going to be asking for specifically for the standardized test policies, et cetera, 
from College Board, you will also submit those AP scores as well. So they're going to be getting that in terms of reporting from an official institution. Self-reporting, not helpful because they're not going to look at it. They want to know. You know, a lot of students, unfortunately, they'll say, like, I made a five on the U.S. History AP. I think I like a three. No good. Automatic reject. So you really want to make sure that's done correctly. Here we go, Jen. My child is, t is a junior this fall. She is taking dual enrollment classes. Would she apply as a transfer student or entering freshman? So, Jen, this really depends. Does she want to enjoy her senior year in high school or not? Um, if they're in dual enrollment classes, uh, this is something to discuss with your high school counselor, but they're still in high school. They're not in college yet. They haven't actually, like, applied and gotten into a college. They're taking classes that are college credit level. And as you can see, there are some questions earlier on here that says, you know, are you taking any college certificate courses, et cetera? I'll pull that up one more time for you. Uh, here we go, academics. Uh, where is it? Have you taken any certificates, blah, blah, blah? Also, that'll be under, like, let's see if it's under here. It's not here. Uh, it'll probably be under transcript academic information. Not here. It'll be under your transcript as you are in another class, but it's not like you're applying as a transfer student. A transfer student is someone who's already gone freshman year or sophomore year or junior year. Really painful for transferring at that time, uh, where you are literally transferring from one school to the next. So definitely not the same. Uh, you're welcome, Anna. Absolutely. Opening up to live Q and A here about the Common App, everyone. My name is Neha Gupta. I am the founder of College Shortcuts and Elite Private Tutors. I am here uh, coming at you from Florida. I'm working with a client right now. We just wrapped up all their essays, all of their resume stuff. They're actually submitting their applications. Super excited about it. Um, you know, when students work with us, it's not just working with me. I have a team of consultants that are absolutely phenomenal that are getting kids' applications done in less than three weeks. So if you're interested in that, call us at 713-401-2867. Today, officially, the Common App is opening. All of the seniors in the house, parents of seniors, this is highly, highly relevant to you. Common App changed their essay prompts this year. They've also added new essay prompts, and they updated their entire application. And one in ten students make a mistake on this entire process, just the process. Not, you know, the 12 years they've spent academically or all that stuff. I'm talking about just the nitty-gritty. They make mistakes in just this part, and they get rejected. That's why I'm doing this video live, to show you all the ins and outs of the application because I just hate it when I hear, you know, oh, my God, we forgot to submit the transcript or we forgot this, and my kid got rejected, and I don't know why they got rejected from all 10 schools. Well, it has a lot to do with understanding how technology works and how to effectively apply to colleges, and I know it's frustrating to hear this, but so many students do not know how to use this document. It's their first time, and I'm sorry to say this, but... Let me see if I can go ahead and go back to camera here so you guys can see me. Hey, everyone. Um, I'm sorry to say this, but it's really unfortunate because so many students are not getting this training at their local high school. No one's sitting there and saying, hey, let me walk you through the Common App or watch this video of how to do it. Um, and I see this because it's one high school counselor to 500 students, and kids are just falling through the cracks, like just through the cracks of understanding how it works. And also the problem is the Common App is updating almost every year based on what colleges are wanting. So if you are a parent and you apply to college not using the Common Application, I highly recommend if you are an incredible parent to share this video with your friends, to send it to your friends, to tag them, to send it in messages, to tag your teenager, because very rarely does someone sit there on the first day applications open to show you exactly how to do it. Now, I'm going to open it up to any more questions for the last two minutes of this video. I was planning on just doing this for 15 minutes, but because I love you guys so much and I really want to make sure that you get in and understand that there's so much that goes into the process of not just writing the essays or picking the major or whatever, but delaying over and over the procrastination that I see year after year. And especially for even our juniors and sophomores that are applying, you know you're going to be getting in this. You are really going to want to make sure that you work with us 
on the process, if that is something you are considering, we are already booking out for 2018 and 2019 with parents that are just ready to rock and know, okay, we're going to need this help. Let's just get this off the books. And the reason is, is all these parents that are like, let me do and make sure, is my kid ready for tennis? Or do they have National Honor Society and all that? You are not focusing on what is actually relevant here. And it's about getting the help you need in the application process. Let's go ahead and take a question here from a live viewer. Renee, what looks better on a common a college application? Dual credit or AP courses? My rising junior is extremely involved in theater and varsity swimming at his high school, and he's elected to take dual credit American history versus A push. I love that name, by the way. It never was called that back in the day. And it's like, A push me over the edge because it's so hard <laughs> due to his time constraints of practice and rehearsals. Not sure if this is a wise decision. He's pursuing a career in theater arts. Renee, first of all, congratulations on understanding where your kids' boundaries are, okay? A push is one of the hardest AP classes. We all know it. Everyone knows it. It's painful. And if you felt like taking dual credit would be a better choice, then you do what's right for your child. This is what we call a nuanced question where you're concerned, okay, was it this or this that was better? Well, it's actually not relevant. The fact that they've chosen to take a college credit course as an option already shows effort, initiative, and higher level classes. So don't be concerned with that as a nitty gritty. I think it's wonderful that you've understood that A push is way too hard. Let's go ahead and do this in another way. Regardless, they're going to get credit. So you really want to be focused specifically on making sure your child is happy, healthy, and stable. And if that means taking dual credit for them works for you, then that's what's great. And that's not a problem. Um, colleges, you know, on average, and it ranges, just, you know, spend upwards of 7 to 25 minutes on an application. This application I'm showing you right here, that common app that I just filled out for Larry the Lamb, is reviewed for that long. If your kid is not answering the questions right, if they capitalize a letter in the middle of a word, if the grammar is not correct, if there's a period space period because they add an extra period, all these little things, they don't upload things correctly, they don't submit the things that are correct, this is a problem. And I see it year after year. So I just wanted to do this quick video in memorial of August 1st. Yes, it is August 1st. We have officially crossed over to the eighth month of, of the year. Yes, it's not halfway through. And no, it's not summer anymore. In 16 days or less, it's back to school, people. You got to get your backpack stuffers. Get my book, The Four-Year Plan. Get College Shortcuts to the Courts. Get our essay report. Get consulting. Get the test prep. Get this help that you need. Because if you aren't getting help that you need, oh my God, the Common App is so complicated. And I've already shown you how complicated it can be based on where the essays are placed, what to fill out, etc. So I hope this video was helpful. I'm coming at you from Florida. I just finished up with a client. Oh my God, it's amazing. Their application, I swear, they're going to get into all 10 schools. I can tell based on the things they've done. They've done incredible internships. They had amazing things they were doing. And I love working with students where, you know, we've been working together throughout the years and and really building out what their self-directed projects are, as Harvard calls it, or looking for online courses that really make them stand out, that they really enjoy doing, or starting a business, or publishing a book, or doing really cool things that they're actually fascinated by. You know, kids have so much extra time. You know, my sister has two kids. One of them just sits there sometimes at home or watches the iPad, you know, for teenagers is watching YouTube. And it's like, that's awesome, but how do we direct them in a constructive way? Because it's not just about the technicalities of how to apply for the application. It's also about the importance of what you put in it. What makes your kids stand out? What makes them have that unique admissions narrative in the process? So I hope you guys are having an incredible day. I love every single one of you that's logged in. No one's done this video before. No one's doing it today. Your high school counselor is too busy doing other things. It's still summer for them. So please share this with a friend. Comment below. Let me know any questions you have. We would love to reach out to you. If you are interested in getting help, type in help into the comment, and we will have someone reach out to you or message us because we want to help you in this college process. We are the only company that has revolutionized college admissions to get it done in less than three weeks for your kid. So go ahead and reach out. Again, this is Neha Gupta, founder of College Shortcuts Elite Private Tutors, 713-401-2867. Because my dream is to make sure your kid 
gets into the college of their dreams. Have an amazing day. Bye.